Hey guys, Muslink here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we got an update in the news that the legendary campaign is coming for Vegito Blue uh, on the 2nd of the 2nd. I think that's when the Heroes banner is scheduled to leave. Um, so we're definitely about to be on a new celebration. So the LR campaign, obviously it's kind of different for Vegito Blue because he's not a prime battle LR. Um, you obviously have to do the missions from the quest stages in order to get Supreme Kai Stones, which you then use in the barbershop to get the Patara Medals. Um, so obviously you guys probably know unless you're brand new to the game, it's quite a lengthy process. I might do a more detailed video about it if there's interest in that kind of thing. So what they're doing is uh, the typical LR campaign stuff. So by getting into LR and SA20, you're going to get some orbs, you'll get Kai's. Um, you'll get some stones. They've started doing a thing now which is cool for people like me who have these done like as soon as possible where you can get an extra 10 stones when the campaign starts if you'd already done it which is really cool. Um, but here we go. This is where they're going to try and make it a bit easier. So for prime battles they obviously do things like upping the drop rate or adding the bonus team or they and they half the stamina for the stage. So here they are going to half the stamina for all quests. So that's going to be really useful, even if you don't need to do um, the Vegito farm. having Being able to farm your rank uh, basically twice as fast is going to be super useful for a lot of people. And then in addition, you may challenge the highest difficulty of each quest stage, even if you haven't cleared the stage on normal or hard. So what that means is a lot of the, the missions to get the Kai Stones were always on the Z hard stage of the level. So obviously if you're new to the story mode and going through it for the first time, you would normally have to complete normal and then hard to then be able to play on Z hard. Whereas now, if you just want to farm Vegito as quickly as possible, you'll be able to go through each of the stages and just do Z hard straight away and do the missions. So that's going to be nice and easy for people who want to farm it up. Um, as quickly as possible. Now, one thing I did bring up, this is the announcement of the LR campaign when it came to JP um, as part of another celebration. And one thing, there's a couple of things they mentioned. So JP got four times XP when this happened as well. So this in combination with half stamina to do events is insane because it means like the final quest stage, which is the one you should basically be doing to farm ranks, is 23 stamina. It means it's going to be 12 stamina and then potentially 4 times XP. So even me, at like rank 670 something, I'll probably be able to rank up quite a bit during this event if they give us the 4 times XP as well. So that's going to be really good. And then they add some uh, Patara medals to the barbershop, which you can buy with green gems as well for people who can't complete some of the specific missions, um, just to make it easier. So I assume that these are going to be part. I, I could almost guarantee that the barbershop medals are going to be there. Uh, we don't know about the 4 times XP. Um, however, this did come on JP, so I brought up the timeline of events here. So this is all the future Gohan stuff that we're expecting to be next on JP. Uh, the announcement for this Vegito event on JP also announced this uh, Extreme Z area for the free-to-play trunks. Um, and obviously he dropped as part of the future Gohan celebration. So I would say this is pretty much a confirmation that future Gohan is about to drop in within the next week. Um, obviously when we find out the details I will let you guys know. Um, but it seems like this is all the other stuff that we're getting. Which also means that potentially uh, Kaioken Blue EZA is around the corner. However, I do think, as I said in the title, because we are going into a future based um, event and we're getting the legendary Vegito Blue campaign. This seems like a very good time for them to drop the physical Vegito Blue uh, EZA that obviously they've um, already teased on Twitter. Like we voted for it and they just said that the details will be coming soon and that's kind of the last we've heard of it. So I think this would be a good time for that to drop. I think it, if they did do that it would probably replace this. And then of course if we scroll quite a bit back up to the Piccolo stuff, which obviously for JP was before the 300 mil, we're still waiting on these easy A's as well. So February could be a very easy A packed month, um, depending on how they decide to do it. Because it definitely looks like all this stuff is about to drop. So that's going to be very interesting. Now the other thing that happens as well, I don't know if you guys have seen it already, it's in the shop now. 
if we let's flick over to the in-game so I can show you okay so on the in-game menu if we go to the barbershop now um, I'm pretty sure I bought them all so they're not gonna be there yeah I did so this is where the Patara medal should get added into um, but they did a little while ago add more copies of the base form Vegito. So obviously I already have, there's Vegito Blue, already rainbow, ready to go. But then we have, this is the SSR version. Um, obviously I farmed him up to 10. They added four more copies into the shop. So we can get three dupes opening him. We still need one more, which as far as I know, even on JP they still haven't added. Which I find really strange. I don't know why they didn't just add five extra copies so we can have the secondary copy rainbowed but um when they do add the patara medals into the shop i believe they add another 30 and obviously since i have farmed up every single one uh i have 10 spare so the medals that they add to the barber shop will at least allow us to awaken the second vegeto to tur i need to get my hands on some more str orbs because then he can be 90 percent um obviously because he stacks attack and defense um, even in his TUR state, he still gets a decent attack and defensive buff as well. He is, I would say, probably still by far the best base form Vegito in the game. Uh, be interesting to see with the five-year cards what their starting forms are going to be. But he's definitely the best base form um, Vegito. So if you are free to play, uh, it's probably worth getting the extra copies of him as well. If they are going to make the quest stages half stamina and potentially give bonus XP, now is a perfect time to farm green gems and you can pick up all of this extra stuff. So the only other thing I wanted to go over very quickly was for people that still need to do some of the stages. Now that we have uh, a more advanced way to filter our characters. So say for example, if you still need to do the stage where you take on um, the stage with, let's say, all physical units that have fierce battle. So we can select physical and then down here we have select link skill. Now if I remember rightly from when I checked earlier, it's quite near the bottom. I really wish these were in alphabetical order. If there is actually a way to sort these and somebody knows, that would be uh, very useful to know down in the comments. But there you go, there is Fierce Battle. So we can select that and then there you go. There's all of our physical units that have Fierce Battle. So there's a lot more free to play units that have Fierce Battle now than when the LR Vegito stuff first came out. So it's definitely a lot easier to do if it's something that you still need to get around to. Um, and so yeah, there you go. It's going to be dropping on the second. Um, I'm sure plenty of us out there are going to be getting all of the rewards straight away. But let me know down below in the comments if you do need any more assistance or if you do have any questions about the LR campaign. Let us know down below or join the Discord. Uh, everyone in there is super helpful. And uh, yeah, we can all get those sweet, sweet rewards. Obviously, you have a couple of days if you really want to go ham and try and get him farmed up now so you can get those extra 10 stones. Um, every little helps, I guess, especially with STR Cooler on the horizon. So, yeah, definitely uh, good to go. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. Just wanted to keep you updated and uh, go through some of the details. Obviously, more information that comes if it's regarding the physical Vegito Blue or the confirmation of future Gohan, I will let you guys know. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join the Discord. The link is in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.